Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. I'm your host, Lucas Draga, Solution Specialist here at Agile Point, and thank you so much for joining me today. Now, we're still seeing a few of your colleagues dialing in here, so let's give them another moment before we go ahead and get started. All right, thank you everyone for your patience. So just a couple of quick housekeeping items here before we get started. You've probably noticed that this is a webinar session and as such, your lines are muted. Now that being said, we do want to encourage interaction and the best way to do that is using the questions panel in your Zoom console. And if it's something that we don't get a chance to address throughout the course of the webinar, we have 15 minutes at the end of the session to go over those questions as a group. As far as the flow of today's webinar is concerned, there are two major components. Up front, I'll go through a few brief slides. I know that a number of you are talking to Agile Point for the first time, so we'll introduce the company, our technology, and a few of the concepts that you'll see throughout the remainder of the presentation. And after our slides, we'll go ahead and jump into a demo will give you a sense of the couple of different types of applications that you can build using Agile Point without writing a single line of code. Now, for those of you that are new, I'll tell you a little bit about the company, right, and where we've come from, because it really does inform where we're going as an organization. Now, Agile Point was founded back in 2003, and my two founders, had developed significant expertise in the area of Java-based business process management, which is great if you have the largest and most complex problems to solve, a highly specialized team to do so, and the largest possible bankroll to address those challenges. Now, my two founders, Sean and Jesse, wanted to take that power and flexibility of Java-based BPM and to format it into a platform that would enable everyone in the organization to contribute to the application development process. And that dream has really been realized with the version 7 release of our technology that hit the market just about a year ago. Now, over those 15 years of, of, of business, right, 1,500 organizations have entrusted us with their most mission-critical application needs. Right? And typically, the types of challenges that we're solving span industry sectors and verticals, and every major center across the globe. With a regional team that speaks the local languages on the local time zone to ensure you always receive timely support. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, the types of challenges that Agile Point as a platform is solving for our customers. Well, the first of which, you know, in this era of digital business transformation, there's simply a need for more software than most of our customers are able to deliver. We need to automate the various internal and customer facing processes that help us run our business and deliver a delightful experience to our customers. We need to customize the software that we're using, right? And with the advent of cloud and mobile applications, that really further compounds the problem. And the fact of the matter is, using traditional hand coding techniques, most customers simply can't keep up with the volume of software that they must create. 
So Agile Point really looks to address these challenges head on, right? And does so by providing a powerful and intuitive platform with a large library of pre-built components, whether that's to model business process, to design compelling user interface forms, and integrate the data that you use to run your business. Many of our customers, to address this large increase in custom software, are looking to empower a larger group of users to contribute to the application development process. Now, of course, that needs to be done within the guardrails and the standards that have been put forth by the organization, effectively bringing this concept of shadow IT into the light and enabling business and IT to innovate side by side. With all of this driving towards the singular goal of accelerating the transformation to becoming a digital business, to developing and maintaining a competitive edge that differentiates your organization with the rest of the market. Now there's a number of different benefits to implementing a technology like Agile Point, and we'll go through a few of them today. Right, the first of which is this concept of business partnership with IT. This has typically been a sticking point for many organizations over the last 30 or 40 years because there tends to be such a large gap between these two groups. The business requires software and IT is only able to deliver on so much of it. Right, and that's really because IT tends to be focused on the most complex tasks. So where does that leave us? Well, the applications that make work easier, that delight our customers, often get left in the wind, right? Because they're simply not strategic enough for IT to take on as a top priority. And then lastly, and arguably the most important benefit, is the ability to become an adaptive business. Right, for many of you on the phone today, there are new competitors encroaching on your market share with every given day. There are rising expectations on behalf of your customers, whether those are internal customers or those that you do business with. Right? And this is really the, the area where Agile Point is looking to, to provide the biggest benefit to you as an organization. Now let's briefly talk about some of the customers that we've worked with. Right, you're seeing a cross section here on screen and I have a few case studies that I'd like to share with you. But typically, our customers tend to be on the larger side, global 2000s or multinationals at minimum, and they're getting a wide range of value from a single, versatile Agile Point NX platform. A large portion of them are using Agile Point in some sort of mission critical capacity. These use cases tend to be complex, tend to be long running, and are often central to how an organization generates revenue. In manufacturing, think of a shop floor process. In financial services or banking, this might correlate to the new customer onboarding process or new account creation process. A large chunk of them have deployed Agile Point as the organization-wide standard for application delivery, whether that's process-based applications, chatbots, data-driven apps, or applications that leverage IoT and machine learning. And perhaps the most compelling is that 65% of these customers came to Agile Point after their digital business transformation initiatives failed using a competitive software. Now this brings me to one of the most exciting announcements in my three years here at Agile Point, and that's Agile Point's leader positioning in the prestigious Digital Process Automation Wide Report. If you read the report, right, Forrester views this section or this segment of technologies as oftentimes the missing link to realizing a successful digital business transformation. And if we focus in on Agile Point's coverage of the report, there are a few key areas that I'd like to bring to your attention. The first of which is for a true and pervasive digital transformation, we need to address the widest range of use cases. It, this can mean things like variance in scope of an application from a process that serves an individual group or division to something that touches every team across the organization. 
data-driven apps that provide CRUD operations against a variety of data sources like Salesforce, SharePoint, SAP, etc. But also, as we alluded to earlier, creating chatbot applications, IoT applications, as well as apps that are informed by machine learning models. From a single, very versatile platform, you can develop one set of skills and in turn, roll out a wide variety of applications that automate every facet of internal operations, customer facing operations, to realize your digital business transformation initiatives. AgilePoint has been regularly recognized for a high level of price performance, including a unique concurrent user seat model, which enables me to start small, to scale my usage of AgilePoint as I might need it, with my licensing reflecting the value that I'm getting from the, or, from, the, from the platform itself. And then lastly, where many of our competitors are focused on creating applications fast and easy, AgilePoint focuses on the maintain, maintenance of those applications at large scale. I have a great case study that I'll share with you in just another moment, but in short, AgilePoint makes it very straightforward to absorb changes in underlying technologies. As an example, if you're on-premises today primarily, but have a directive to move to the cloud, to respond to changes in the way you're doing business, and of course, to stand in lockstep with rising customer expectations. Now, so far we've talked about the recent Forrester report, but AgilePoint has been regularly recognized across a wide variety of analyst reports that represent a variety of different segments. We've talked about process excellence at scale, the ability to quickly and easily spin up a process to meet any business need, how we can replace C-sharp or Java-based development as a low-code platform, and handle the complex and long-running BPM type use cases. So what I'd like you to take away from this slide here is the versatility, right? The power of Agile Point's platform to address every business need that you might come across in your organization. Now, in order to understand the unique value add of Agile Point, let's take a quick look at the state of no-code and low-code tooling today. On the one hand, we have the no-code camp. All right, these platforms are typically easier to get started with for less technical users, but tend to target more simple or specific use cases. What's more, they tend to lack a manageable extensibility layer, which can really limit them of their appeal and ability to address different types of scenarios. On the other hand, we have the low-code camp, who offer a little more control, but tend to be extended with a proprietary scripting language or some sort of fourth-generation programming language which is great. I might be able to address a slightly larger amount of different use cases, but these tend to be limited in their appeal to less technical users. Now, with that being said, AgilePoint is truly a unique and powerful blend of these two different categories of low-code software, and I'll give you a good sense of how we can realize on that promise, how we can deliver on that promise. Starting off with the software development lifecycle, we need to start with our data. So whether that's integrating with the various systems that you use to run your business today, AgilePoint offers 70 cloud and on-premises data sources as standard integrations into our platform with 700 total activities. Now what this means in the real world is that you can go much farther and build applications of much greater complexity before having to write code which is always an option for any aspect of an Agile Point application. For new applications going forward, especially those that might be built by a less technical user, we don't necessarily need to use those integrations, but rather, we can model our data directly within the browser. By using point and click, I can design my application data model, my tables, including child tables, directly within the Agile Point interface, and no longer do I need to rely on database administrators or tools like SQL Server Management Studio. I can easily model processes of varying complexity 
including developing chatbot applications, implement logic that runs my business, and once I've built these applications, I can surface them on a custom landing page, which really simplifies how users interact with our platform. You can think of it this way. I might have a shared landing page for the entire organization built on top of Agile Point, and then through a menu, I'll navigate to my particular Teams page, which surfaces everything that I might need on a day-to-day -day basis. My applications, my reports, my task list, as well as any sort of image or media all in one place, giving me one location to visit for everything that I might need on a day-to-day -day basis. Now I know we have a number of developers on the line as well, and rest assured there is an interface that is optimized for what you need within Agile Point as well. Agile Point offers a very robust, extensible SDK framework that plugs in directly into Visual Studio and enables me to extend every facet of the Agile Point platform, whether that's integration or activities, as well as server level behavior. Through a one-time development exercise using our Visual Studio plugin, your custom development becomes easily reusable and configurable, and thereby further empowering the less technical users to leverage your custom development via drag and drop. And of course, all of this is backed by a platform that's ready to handle web scale volume and deliver a personalized experience for every group or team through our multi-tenant architecture. So with these things in mind here, right, our goal as a platform and as an organization is to bring the business and the developers closer together and enabling them to innovate side by side. I have a couple of great examples of just how we've done that with real customers. The first example here I'd like to go through really gives you a sense of the scale at which Agile Point can be used. Right? The example comes here from a Fortune 100 manufacturer who used Agile Point to create 3,000 applications in a two year period. Right? And not only is it extremely compelling the speed at which they built these applications, but also just how considerably they consolidated their legacy application portfolio. With 3,000 Agile Point applications, handling the workload of 10,000 applications built on homegrown technologies. Now, if you're like many of the others that are on the line with you today, you're looking to grow the talent pool for building these custom apps. And then a great way to do that is by tapping power users, sometimes referred to as citizen developers. Now, this slide here is an excerpt from a webinar that we did with the Salvation Army and Forrester Research about a year ago, and is a great testament to what can be achieved with Agile Point in the hands of a less technical user. The Salvation Army was not realizing their application development goals, so they went into uh, the teams and found a power user and enabled them to build applications using Agile Point. After a short training period in the first year, the single user was able to develop 10 applications. In 2018, that number doubled to 20 and will again double to 40 in 2019. All right, this is the sort of output that we see from a team of developers. And when you consider that this is a single, non-technical user, these results are nothing short of astounding. And of course, again, for the developers in the room, there's plenty for you with an Agile Point as well. Right, I have a great example from a Fortune 20 retailer. You've probably shopped with them a number of times. They have 10,000 stores across the world. Right? And they were struggling over a period of a year to build a process application to automate a very core facet of their business. Right? They went back out into the market and found Agile Point. And after giving them our technology, in the period of four days, one of their developers was able to release an application that had twice the amount of functionality that took more than a year using a competitive platform. Right, this case was so compelling that it actually was profiled in Forbes, and we'd be glad to send you a copy of that article post the webinar today.
Now, working with many different types of customers with varying risk and compliance profiles, there's a deployment model for Agile Point that fits your needs. Regardless of what you choose initially, there is a single code base across each of these deployment types. And what that's meant for our customers is that they can easily switch between deployments, maybe starting off on premises. All of a sudden, you have an organizational directive to move to the cloud. All of your applications will move seamlessly without any refactoring or any rebuilding. And then lastly here, before I jump into the demo, I'd like to give you a quick sense of our pricing model. Now, this is always available on our website, but in short, there are a number of tiers that will correlate to your level of usage within Agile Point, starting off with our free Community Edition. This is a fully functional version of our technology and is a great way to help build initial value within your organization before moving on to a licensed tier. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into a demo and give you a sense of the different types of applications we can build using Agile Point. Okay, so the first application that I'd like to show you today is a data-driven or a form-based application, right? Because not every application in your portfolio requires approval steps or workflow. Sometimes we just want to maintain data that is read or write data to some external source. Now what you're seeing here on screen is a custom landing page, right? One of those landing pages that I mentioned, and it was built as part of an on-site POC for the city of Boston. Now there were many factors uh, that ultimately led to Agile Point's selection by the city for their citywide digitization efforts. This was just one of them. But to give you a sense here, we've recreated boston.gov using Agile Point's page builder via exclusively drag and drop based development. You'll see I have some information about city services, but underneath the common resources section, you'll see that there are a number of tiles. Each of these will correlate to different Agile Point components. Things like reports, my task list, as well as a variety of applications. So let's just give you a sense of one of them here. This is a construction permit request where a citizen or a contractor will pull a permit for new construction at a particular location. In this case here, the application knows who's logged in and pre-populates some data on my behalf. I'm just going to enter some data here and then go ahead and fill a permit request. Now the city wanted two different ways to look up a site for new building. The first of which is to enter based on coordinates for latitude and longitude. I'm a little more comfortable with entering my address here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And as you can see, based on those selections that I'm making, toggling between coordinates and address, different fields are shown or hidden. Right, so this sort of dynamic behavior is something very commonly requested by our customers. And when I looked up that address against the city's publicly available REST service, some data has been pre-populated on my behalf including my location on a Google map. So let's just zoom in a little bit here and give you a closer look. Scrolling down here, I have a few additional options. I can specify my role as being homeowner or contractor. And again, right, a different set of options will show based on the selections that I'm making. But for now, let's just go ahead and click submit and fill this permit request. Now, form-based applications, when I build one of these, it, Agile Point will pre-create a number of components on my behalf, right? The first of which is this view that you're seeing here, where I can toggle between all construction permits, recently created or recently modified permits. And you'll see here that we've filled a few previously. I can easily bring up a historical view of those that have been submitted previously and view all of the data entered as well as make modifications to previously submitted requests. Okay, for the next example here, I'm going to go ahead and give you a sense of a process-based application. Now, this one is similarly launched from a custom landing page. And on the page here, you'll see I have a button for a new process instance, my task list, as well as various reports. 
let's just go ahead and click launch new process. Now this particular customer wanted to get away from using Excel as a part of their core business processes. So we're show, showing you here how we can bring Excel into a business application. So what I'll do here is I'll attach my Excel document and Agile Point is going to extract all of the values from that Excel and pre-populate the form on my behalf. Optionally, I can attach additional documents here and leave a comment for the next approver in the chain. Now this is handy not only to see the audit history uh, throughout the process instance, but I can also report against this sort of data here as well. But for now, let's just click Submit. And in just another moment here, I've received a task. Now you'll see here a pretty standard Agile Point email notification. I've surfaced some application data that was entered into the form. And I'm given two options here. Right. First, I'll go ahead and click my process viewer link so we can follow along with the process as it executes. As an alternative, I can approve my task directly from within Outlook without even needing to log into Agile Point. But let's go ahead and open my task here. So I'm going to play all approval roles in this process, and I'm just going to go ahead and approve it. So what's going to happen next? After that approval, we're going to assemble a document using the application data that was captured by our form, and we're going to send it for digital signature. In this case here, we're using DocuSign, but there's lots of options, so you can feel free to use your favorite digital signature provider. If I go back to my inbox here, I should have a task to complete via DocuSign. And after I complete this task, Agile Point's going to pass all of the application data over to an RPA solution. In this case, UiPath, but Blue Prism is coming very soon. So in just another moment, we'll start to see my software robot take over, and it's going to enter all of the application data into two different sources. The first of which is a WinForm application, and the second will be a website. Now, as you're seeing here, my software robot is entering my data. And there's really a couple of different use cases to have a robot work side by side with Agile Point. Right? In some cases here, there might be high volume data entry that's simply manual and error prone. Right? And others you know, are to integrate at a UI level various systems that do not offer an API. OK, so that completes the second demo that I'd like to show you today. In closing, I'm going to bring up one of our chatbot-based applications. So what I'm showing you here is a chatbot application that surfaced in Slack. Uh, that was just a, a choice for this particular application. Right, we've seen these surfaced on websites, in internal portals, as well as other chat providers. But in short, I get all of the same capabilities from an integration perspective, um, dynamic actions, right, as I do with the normal Agile Point process in a much more conversational interface. Now here, I'm onboarding myself uh, for a legal consultation with a law firm. And based on the selections that I'm making, right, things like consultation length, the lawyer, Agile Point will send me a bill accordingly to process my payment via PayPal. Now you'll see here that Agile Point is asking me for my email address. Right? The reason that I bring this up is because I'm using Agile Point in an unauthenticated mode. Right? This is leveraging a capability called anonymous forms, which means that I can bring in external users into my processes without them consuming a license. So think about your customers, your partners or suppliers, and how you can bring them into your business process without needing to maintain a separate license for those users. And just lastly here, I'll explain the nature of my consultation. I will validate the selections that I've made.
And in just another moment, I will receive a, a link to process my payment via PayPal. So this might take 10, 15 seconds or so, but it should show up very shortly. Okay, there's my link. So I'm gonna copy this and open it in a private browser. And if I navigate over to the case details page here, you'll see that all of the data that I gave to the bot has been passed over to Agile Point, and I can input my credit card details. Okay, so that concludes the demo portion. Let's go do some Q&A. All right, thank you everyone. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the demo session so far. I wanted to keep the line open for the next 10 minutes or so uh, in case there are any questions. Okay, so one of the questions that I'm getting here is, you know, what was the process of identifying a citizen developer at the Salvation Army? Well, you know, the, the best source to, uh, to get this information from is from the webinar itself, right? David Brown, the Director of Applications with the Salvation Army, talks through their story, right? But in short, you likely already have a sense of, of who these people are, right? These are the folks who are perhaps somewhat technically inclined Right, and provided that you can work out, you know, how to balance um, their new application development responsibilities uh, and their existing responsibilities in whichever line of business they might be a part of, you know, this is a great way to get started. Right, uh, a lot of what Agile Point has released in the version seven of our product is geared towards, you know, reducing that technical barrier. You know, whether it's the ability to design a data model within the browser. Uh, or using, you know, some existing data source to automate the application design, right? A, a lot of this has really been geared towards making it easier for someone who's less technical to get started, All right? So oftentimes it's a, it's a combination of the, the technology itself, right? As well as some of our training resources. And right? if you visit training.agilepoint.com, you can get a great sense of how to get started, right? Gain familiarity with the various portions of our platform, Right, and take you all the way through building your first few applications from scratch. So please do check that out. Uh, yes, Keith, the webinar will be recorded uh, and we'll send that out a little bit later on today. The connectors that come out of the box with the tool. Yeah, absolutely. There's, uh, there's 70 of them off the shelf. Right, and it covers everything that you might expect from uh, cloud content management services like Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, uh, many different databases, um, so SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, Amazon DynamoDB, and MongoDB, chat products, uh, Slack, Microsoft Teams, Skype for Business, things like SharePoint, Amazon Machine Learning, uh, the Azure IoT Hub, Right. Um, but, you know, if there's any others that you're thinking that you might like, you know, please do let us know. Um, you know, we're always looking to to drive the product roadmap based on customer feedback. Right. So if there's any in particular that you're interested in, you know, please do let us know. OK, so I'll leave the line open here for another. Oh, you have a couple of new questions here. Okay, so I have a question here around the technology required uh, to install Agile Point, right? So there's really only two requirements from an Agile Point perspective. Uh, the process and workflow database runs on SQL Server. So anything after SQL Server 2012 will be supported, right? And similarly with, uh, with Windows Server as well, right? Anything beyond uh, 2012 will be supported uh, for your Agile Point deployment.
What type of skills required? Um, you know, that can vary. You know, obviously with the Salvation Army, you saw that someone who is non-technical, right, can, can easily get started in building their own applications. You know, I would say typically, um, you know, someone with a business analyst skill set can build an end-to-end -end application with fairly minimal training, right? That being said, you know, we have seen various users in, you know, the, the various lines of business um, for a given customer begin to build their own applications, right? Typically, you know, you might see the initial integration with some external system uh, handled by someone just because they have access to those different systems, right? But from that point on, you know, the, the platform itself was really designed to enable someone with, you know, a, like I said, a, a business analyst skill set or less uh, to begin building applications, right? And of course, you know, as we mentioned, right, there are, there are interfaces within Agile Point that are optimized for the respective roles. Right. That's not to say that a professional developer can't leverage the drag and drop interface, right? but it is an option. Right? If you do want that extra level of control, right? if you'd like to extend the platform, whether that be uh, integrations, whether that be human activities, right? things like exception handling as an example, or, or rules right? that you'd like to apply against multiple applications, right? the, uh, the SDK for Visual Studio is going to be a great option. And we'll give you the control you need, right, to, to have Agile Point behave precisely as you'd like it to. The typical processes that customers are starting out with, right, um, you know, a great way to take a look at that is in our marketplace, right? There are 50 pre-built application templates um, that were all driven by our customer feedback, right? So this could be everything from uh, sales quotation generation and right, contract generation, um, you know, it could be sort of the typical processes, like a, a time off request, right, or an expense reimbursement as an example. I would say over the last um, couple of years, you know, we've seen a, a real shift towards, you know, applications that, that address employee and customer experience, right? I was working just recently with a, a consulting group that, you know, wanted to help better spin up project teams, right? So someone, spins, uh, someone submits an idea, right, uh, to the organization after a series of review processes, right? The end result was to assemble the project team, right? To create the respective collaboration spaces, whether that's, you know, something in SharePoint or Box, right? And then inviting them to, you know, all of the requisite uh, Slack channels, um, distribution groups, et cetera, right? So we really see the full range, right? It doesn't just have to be something that's internally focused, right? To, to deliver better efficiencies, right? With uh, greater frequency, especially with the advent of the anonymous forms capability that you saw in the Slack application, right? Bringing in uh, partners, suppliers, and customers into the processes as well. Great question. All right, so I'm not seeing any more questions at the moment. So I'd like to thank everyone uh, for your participation. We had some great questions today. And as always, right, please do drop us a line. Let us know what you thought about the webinar, right? And if you have any ideas, anything that you're particularly interested in going forward, don't hesitate to reach out. You know, we're happy to take your feedback and, and roll that into the webinar roadmap. Thanks so much, everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.